Part one, Blue Hills football offense. So, first of all, make sure you're watching part one right now. Second of all, the best way to learn this material, watch it once, don't take any notes. Watch it twice, take some notes. Draw some diagrams, draw what's up here, draw it any way that makes sense to you. Three, try to teach someone else. The best way to learn is to teach someone else. Four, talk about this. So talk about this to one of the other players, talk about this to anyone you want, but keep it fresh in your mind. Don't just watch it and forget it and try to show up and think you know it. So part one, the geography of the offensive line. So first of all, you'll see positions. The X is the center. G's are for guard, T's are for tackles, E's are for ends. Pretty basic. Notice this right here is the neutral zone. There's a football here. If you see, I'm not sure if you can see, this isn't exactly a major motion picture, but we can't have anything in the neutral zone, period. You want to, we want to get our offensive line as close to the neutral zone as possible. We have a left side and we have a right side. We also have holes, all right? That's where we run the ball through. All the holes on the left side are odd numbered holes. Left side, odd numbers. So when you hear a play call and you hear that we're running an 11 sweep, which doesn't exist, you'll know that that's odd numbers you're hearing and that it's going to the left because there's odd numbers there. On the other side, on the right, the holes are even. So you'll see this is the two hole, this is the four hole, the six hole and the eight hole. On the left, on the odd side, we have the one, the three, the five, and the seven. At this point in time, there is no nine hole and there is no ten hole. So we have four holes. One, three, five, seven on the left. Two, four, six, eight on the right. It is very important before you even get involved, even enter a huddle, before you even enter a huddle, you need to know if you're a starter, if you're a sub, if you're in practice just trying to position out, you need to know, are you playing on the left or are you playing on the right? Obviously, the center isn't playing on the left or the right, but you need to know, are you a left side offensive lineman or are you a right side offensive lineman? Little caveat, if we're running an unbalanced line, that means that the right side tackle, who is a right side player, is now moving to the other side of the line because it's unbalanced left. He needs to hit a switch in his head that tells him, oh, I'm now, for this play, I'm a left-sided player. That's a very important note slash caveat. So just to go through that again, the geography of the offensive line. We have the positions, we have the neutral zone, we have the left side, the right side, left is odd, right is even, one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. When you're in the huddle, you need to know on the next play, the upcoming play, are you going to be on the right or are you going to be on the left? Now, the geography of the offensive backfield. First rule for an offensive lineman in regards to what's going on in the backfield. Do not look back. There is nothing going on back there that has anything to do with you.
Don't worry about it. That's for us coaches and the running backs to figure out. If you're making a great block and you want to look back and see how one of our running backs is doing, you're putting our whole team on that play at a serious disadvantage. Do not look back. We film the plays. We have a great time in the film room. We can have we can watch plays over and over and over again and share popcorn and laughs and high fives and slow motions and you know you name it, we'll do it after the fact. If you're a lineman and you're blocking, do not look back. Downfield. Okay? Downfield. You get in the end zone, then you have permission to look back. Now, we have four players that are playing in the backfield. They are off the line. There's four players that are not on the line of scrimmage. There's seven players that are on the line of scrimmage, and there's four players that are not on the line of scrimmage. And that's why we call them backs, because they are back. They are not as close to the neutral zone, but not in it, as they can get. Seven players as close to the neutral zone as we can get, unless told otherwise. And we have four backs that are off the neutral zone. So we're going to call the quarterback is back number one, for obvious reasons. We're going to call the fullback in our offense back number two. Because he's closest to the quarterback. Now we have two other backs. And one's going to play on the left and one's going to play on the right. And it works out so perfectly that the one that plays on the left, the odd side running back, is the three back. And the back that's on the even side, we're going to call him the four back. So we have a quarterback, one. Fullback, two. Then we have two other running backs. The three back, who plays on the left, that's on the odd side. And we have the four back that plays on the right, that's on the even side. This is a quick little tour, geography tour, of our offense. So like I said, best way to learn this. Watch it once, don't take any notes. Watch it twice, take some notes. Next, see if you can teach it to someone or start on a blank piece of paper and try to recopy your notes down. So write the notes, then turn your notes around and see if from memory you can recopy your notes. See if you can teach this to yourself, practice it. Draw this out, draw left odd, right even, draw your neutral zone. Hell, you know, get creative. Make it a little art experiment. Have fun with it. But try not to go back to the video and try to just do it right from your head. Then, next day, an hour later, whenever you happen to be working on this, start talking about it, thinking about it. Then see if you can find someone to hold space for you which is just sit and listen and observe and watch you try to teach it to them or try to explain it to them. That is how I would advise you learn this information, even if you think you already know it. This was part one.